Huh? Huh? Did he say the world is going to be covered in toxic sludge? In a few hours? What? Mikey! Huh? This is bad! What is it? Listen, in a few hours, the world is going to be covered in toxic sludge. We gotta go! Come on! What? No! I'm not ready yet! I don't wanna go! JJ, I'm scared! Hey! Yeah? Don't give up hope just yet. We can still find a way to survive. What can we do? Let's figure this out together. Take a look. See the overworld? Yeah? Everything up here will be covered in toxic sludge. Okay. So, the plan is, we will build a safety shelter underground. Oh, that makes sense. We have to get started on our shelter right away. We only have a few hours. All right. Our house already has a basement, so... Wait a sec. Huh? I almost forgot. What is it? See this house? We should warn our neighbor that lives here. Right. He may not have heard the news, so let's tell him. Hello? Oh! Hey! Hello! Just so you know, the world is going to be ending soon. You might want to build a shelter soon and hide in there. Huh? Uh... What? He doesn't believe what we're saying. Oh, but it's true! You can come stay in our shelter with us, okay? Whoa! Ouch! Hey! We were just trying to be nice, so don't hurt us! Huh. Huh. Well, we can't do anything about that. He's free to make his choice. Let's just focus on our shelter, okay? Yeah, okay. Maybe the neighbor thinks we're pulling a mean prank on him. Anyway, let's start building. So, our basement is right here. You just pull on this lever to open the bookshelf. Like this! See? Whoa! There's a hidden passage, and then... Here it is! This leads into the basement. Now, before we check it out, you should know, we haven't been down here for a long time. It might be messy. If you're ready, let's go! Here we go! Ooh! All right! Wow! Well, here it is. It's gotten pretty bad down here, huh, Mikey? We'll clean it up before we make our shelter. Okay. I really hope this shelter protects us. It's our best bet. We only have a few hours, so let's get started. Let's get to work! Let's see what we have in storage. Oh, okay. Hmm? Everything we need to start working is in this chest. Let's take it. Definitely. Okay, so our first task... Oh? Let's clean up this mess. There are spider webs everywhere. Good idea. Almost done. There. Nice! If the surface is covered in toxic sludge, we might have to spend a long, long time down here. Let's give ourselves more space. Right! We'd go crazy after the first week in a small space. Yeah! Hmm... This digging... It's taking a while. This shelter might be our home for a few years. You think so? Probably. There. Just a little more. Almost. That should do it! Yay! It's a lot bigger. We can definitely live in here. It's perfect! Even if the surface does get covered, we'll be safe in here, right? Well, I appreciate your optimism, but we might not be able to leave this bunker. We'll be here the rest of our lives. A big empty room won't cut it, will it, Mikey? Right. That means we'll need food and water if we don't want to starve to death. I was just trying to look on the bright side. That sounds awful. Let's get to work. We'll make an infinite water source down here. The spring will go here. And we have some water already. 
I'll pour it in here like this. You can take as much water as you want now. Good! Now we have a water supply. All that's left is food, which is a little tricky. Let's make a small, sustainable farm. Oh! We'll have to plan it out well. So we can stay self-sufficient down here in our new home. Yeah! Clear this section out. Like this. Then we can fill it in with soil. Looks good! Pack the dirt. Then the water can go in the back here. Plow the soil. All right. Next, we need to plant some seeds. Okay. Our farm will have to grow by torchlight down here. Whoa. They'll go all around. Good idea. Thanks. This watermelon looks tasty, but I'll turn it into seeds. Oh. Let's plant carrots, potatoes, and watermelon. Sounds great. I'll plant them. Oh. How's that? Yeah, okay. You're done? Yep. Which means that should do it for the farm. Now we have all our necessities covered. For forever. Yeah. <gasps> so we did it. It's perfect. We can survive. It's all done. Now all that's left is to grab the furniture in the house and bring it to the bunker. It's a little dreary down here. Seriously? We only have about an hour left. There's no time to waste. Just grab everything you can carry. I got the beds. Okay. Got those. Wood. The chairs and stuff. The table? Definitely. I'll get the TV. And the kitchen. Grab it all. All right. Let's take the fridge with us. And we can't forget this. What is it? The bathroom, of course. <laughs> Good idea. Definitely. Is that all? Yep. Back to the basement. Let's set up the kitchen first. Yeah. The fridge can go here. What else is there? The TV? Maybe over there? Yeah. Over here looks great. This feels better already. Nice. Next, let's find a place for the bathroom. That's very important. Let's build it! How about over here? Okay. Is that enough? Hmm. Yep. There. Not too shabby. So, Mikey, where should we put our beds? They can go anywhere. How about this? That's fine. Break these. That's good. Oh, cool. Now we have a bunk bed. Nice. Let's brighten up the space with torches. Oh. Yeah. I think we're all done. Now, even if the surface is covered in toxic sludge, we'll survive. Well, Mikey, get used to this. It may be the rest of our lives. Huh? Huh? Hmm? That sound. Ah, what is that? I'm scared, JJ. Uh, ah! It's happening. The surface is being covered by toxic sludge. Will our shelter keep us safe? Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh! It sounds like it's letting up. It's all over. Sheesh! But it looks like our shelter... Yeah? ...is holding up. There's no sludge leaking in. Looks like we're in the clear. Thank goodness! But I'm still worried about our neighbor. Same. Should we go out there and check up on him? That doesn't sound safe, JJ. Won't the toxic sludge infect us?
It will be safe if we wear hazmat suits. Oh. Here they are. If we put these suits on, then we should be able to go outside. Okay. Ready, Mikey? Yep. These should protect us, but we can't stay out there for too long. Let's go save our neighbor. Let's go! Okay, I'm climbing up. Me too! We're going outside. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I mean, is it even safe? I don't know. Let's find out. Whoa. <gasps> is it okay? I'm just glad we have these hazmat suits. Ready? Ow! Whoa! It's really covered! Ah! Don't worry, we should be okay for now. But I'm not sure how long these suits will last. It's everywhere! Aw, oh, look at our house! Aw! It's awful. Oh, right! Do you see our neighbor anywhere? I don't think so! Huh? Hang on. What? Ah! It looks like he's being attacked by some weird creatures! What are they? Are you okay? Hello? Run away! Try to follow my voice! Hurry! Ugh. Hello? Come over here! Is he okay? Huh? Oh? Oh! Hurry! He, he's down! What? He's gone! Wait, they're coming for us now! Hurry! Huh? Get in the shelter! Now! Run away! Go! Hurry, Mikey! Ah! <laughs> Shut the hatch! Phew! <sighs> Breaking news! Be on alert as a deadly poisonous gas is spreading in the area. Poison gas? Huh? That's bad! Let's check outside! Huh? I don't see any poison gas at all. See? The pigs and cows look fine. Mm-hmm. Huh? Huh? Poison gas is pouring out of the forest! Oh, it is! Ah! This is bad! No way! What's gonna happen? What do we do? <gasps> ah! oh, seriously? All the animals outside just died! Shoot! The poison gas is here! <gasps> ah, it's covering the whole house! Oh, you're right! We're gonna die if we don't do anything! Mikey, we have to escape! Yeah! Luckily, I have an escape device for just this kind of thing! Oh! I see! I'll flip this lever... And it opens here! This is the escape route! Hurry! There are items we'll need to escape in this chest, so grab some. Got it! Now to grab all of this. Let's put on our elytra and eat our golden apples. <laughs> Let's go! Okay! Push the button here. And now... Whoa! I'll follow you! Whoa! The poison gas has spread so much already! We need to hurry away! Let's fly far! Yep! Sounds good! Land here! Got it! Alright! Alright! <sighs> nice! We did it! We escaped from the poison gas! And now that we're this far away from our house, there's absolutely no way the poison gas can spread this far! Mm-hmm! Uh, Mikey, look! Huh? The poison gas is spreading this way! Run! Uh, uh, that's bad! But we got so far away! Run, Mikey! Got it! I have an idea. An idea? Mm-hmm. Let's gather wood and stone as we run away. Huh. Got it! Then we'll find a place to take shelter in and use those to seal up and keep the poison out. Okay! I want stone, too. Are we gonna be okay? Yeah, it's closing in! We gotta move! I'll quickly make a wooden pickaxe and harvest as much stone as I can. 
Okay! Oh, it's getting closer. Hurry! Oh, it's right there! Let's make a stone sword and some stone tools. Oh no, it's so close! We can harvest lots of wood with stone tools. Oh, I got an apple too! All right! Are we safe? Yeah, it keeps closing in! <gasps> what do we do? These go like this. It's almost here! Here, take these! Oh, thanks! Okay, D shoot! Uh, there's a cave over here, Mikey! Oh! Get in! Coming! Phew! That was so close! It almost reached us! <sighs> hmm, we did manage to take shelter here, though. Huh? It looks like the poison gas is stopped at the entrance to the cave. Oh, no kidding! Now let's seal it up while we have the chance. Let's do it! Like this? Nice! Seal it up. And now, I'll use this. Oh, thanks! All right! Good. If we seal off the entrance to the cave, then the poison gas won't be able to enter, right? Mm-hmm. It shouldn't. <sighs> okay, now we're safe. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it came through a different entrance. Oh! Not good. Go deeper in. No way! Are you kidding me? We'll have to search for that place. That place? Mikey, let's look for lava. Huh? This way. Lava? Why are we looking for lava? Just trust me, Mikey. Uh, got it. Yeah. Hmm? Yo! Huh? We found lava! Oh! But what do we do with it? Even the lava won't do anything against the poison gas! We'll make obsidian from it and use it to flee into the nether. Oh! I get it now. That's a great plan. If we escape into the nether, then there's no way the poison gas will be able to follow us! First, let's use the bucket of water we brought to make obsidian. Got it! I'll place it here. Okay. Here too? All right! I made diamond pickaxes, so next, let's mine the obsidian. Let's mine! Gather lots before the poison gas reaches us. With this, I'm at 10 blocks of obsidian. I have 9 blocks! Once we have 10 each, let's go through a nether portal. Got it! Let's build it here. Like this. Okay! I have 10 blocks too! Nice job, Mikey! Okay, it's in place! Hey, JJ! I'll give this to you too! Here! Oh, thanks, Mikey! Now to light it. Yes! The nether portal is complete! We did it! Now let's hurry inside! Got it! Look! Huh? The poison gas made it all the way down here! Oh, seriously? But we dug so far down! Hurry, Mikey! Alright! Alright, we managed to escape into the nether. There's absolutely no way it can follow us into the nether, right? Mm-hmm. We finally got away from that poison gas! We're safe here. That's great! Huh? Hang on! There's poison gas coming out of the nether portal! Oh! No way! Yeah! How far is the poison gas going to follow us? What do we do, JJ? We run away! Huh, got it! This is getting bad! Oh, shoot! I thought we'd be safe here. Let's try to put some distance between us and the poison gas. All right! But what are we gonna do, JJ? Hmm. Let's use our remaining obsidian to build another nether portal and use it to head back to the overworld. Oh, interesting! Oh, hang on. This is nether quartz. Let's mine it. Huh? Oh! It might come in handy. Let's mine it just in case. Got it! Doesn't look to be coming this way yet. Let's hurry up and gather this. And then we'll run away. Hurry! This way, Mikey. Okay! We've come really far. 
Before the poison gas reaches us again, let's build the nether portal here and return to the overworld. Let's hurry and build it! I only have two blocks of obsidian left, though. Can you build it? Sure! Thanks. Like this! Nice job! Okay, it's done! Great job, Mikey! Now I'll use this to light it and the nether portal will be complete! Oh, we did it! Oh, JJ, hold on! Huh? What if we return to the overworld and it's full of poison gas? It's fine. The nether occupies a different dimension from our world. Huh? One step in the nether is the same as eight steps in the overworld. Oh! We've walked really far in the nether, so if we go back to the overworld from here, I think we'll definitely be somewhere the poison gas can't reach us. I see! Hmm, I'm scared, but I trust you, JJ! Okay, then here we go! Let's go! Three, two, one. All right! Huh, we did it. It looks like the poison gas hasn't come this far yet. That's great! And maybe the poison gas disappeared already. Nothing to worry about. All right, that's better. Huh? What's that? Huh? Ugh, shoot! Poison gas is pouring out of the nether portal! Oh, that's bad! Run, Mikey! No way! Let's hurry away! <sighs> We've come so far to escape the poison gas, but what are we gonna do now? Hmm, yeah. Hmm? Huh? Oh, there's a village down there. Let's stop there. There might be someone who can save us. Let's go! We both have our elytra on, so let's fly. Got it! All right! Oh, let's land over here. All right! Yes! We made it! Hmm. Hello? Anyone? Anyone here? Huh? Hmm. Hello? JJ! Hmm? This village doesn't have a single person in it! Huh. Yeah, there's no sign of anyone. Maybe they've evacuated and gone somewhere far away? At this rate, we'll be eventually overwhelmed by the poison gas and die! <laughs> no way. We have to do something. Hmm? What's that over there? It's a hatch. Huh. This looks like an entrance or something. Oh? What could be down there? Hang on. Look behind you. Huh? Oh, the poison gas! Shoot! Yeah! Huh? We're surrounded by poison gas! Oh, there's nowhere left to run to! What now? Oh. Our only option is to go in here! Uh, got it! Shoot! And drop down! Uh. <sighs> Are we safe now? Oh. What is this place? There's a lever here. Let's try it. What's it for? Hmm? Huh? Oh! It's an underground shelter! Amazing! Who knew there was a space like this underground? And there are so many people! This is where everyone has escaped to. The villager said this shelter was built to keep out the poison gas. We're saved! We've been in here a week already. I wonder how things are out there. The news said the poison gas was gone now. Hmm. Then let's take a look outside, JJ. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay. We can climb this to the surface. But still, I'm getting kind of scared. 
What'll we do if there's still poison gas outside? I don't want to stay underground like this forever. It's been a week, so I think we're safe. Hmm. Okay. Mikey? Uh -huh. I'm going to open the hatch. Got it. Ready? Huh. I am. Three, two, one. Oh? How is it? Oh. Huh? What? Huh? Woohoo! The poison gas is gone! Woohoo! The poison gas disappeared! What? He says a black hole will form today, so take shelter. Is this some kind of prank? Mikey, we're in trouble. A black hole is about to appear. Seriously? Don't black holes suck up everything around them? That's right. We'll get sucked up too if we don't prepare. <gasps> we need to hurry up and build a black hole shelter. Let's hurry. Uh, where should we start? Come on, Mikey. Uh, I don't know. Wait, I just remembered. Huh? I have something that might help. Ta-da! Oh. I've been saving this for an emergency. Now seems the right time. What's in there? Huh? Uh, let me show you. Check this out. Wow! What do you think, Mikey? Is this bedrock? Yep. Woo! Bedrock is pretty much the toughest material we can get. Mm -hmm. If we use bedrock, our shelter will be indestructible. Then what are we waiting for? You're right. There's no time to waste. Let's start building. Yeah! Hmm. Here we go. First, we'll need a place to build. This spot here should be good. I agree. I like this location. It's at the edge of the village, not too close or far away. Hurry, JJ. We don't have much time. Right, sorry. Let's get to work. <laughs> hmm. What's up? This way? Sure. Whoa. <laughs> Watch out for gravel while you're digging, Mikey. Roger that. Gotta dig fast. Hurry up. I'm hurrying. Good. The black hole could form at any time. That's so scary. That should be big enough. Now let's line it with bedrock. Like this. Yeah! If bedrock can't stand up to a black hole, then nothing can. That's right! I just hope it actually works. Uh, don't worry, Mikey. Bedrock is completely indestructible. Mm-hmm. But it might be a little boring if we only use bedrock. Maybe we could add a window? Yeah, that looks nice. We're making good progress. I think we'll be ready for the black hole. Nice. Our shelter is almost done. One more block? Ugh. All right, that's it. We're officially safe. Woo! I guess it needs an entrance, too. We have to get out somehow. Can't forget about that. This hole should do the trick. And then... I'll add some water at the bottom. That'll prevent any fall damage. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Let's add a ladder. So we can get out. Finally, the door goes right here. That should do it. That door looks really tough. It should be. Nice. Perfect. What next? I can finish up the entrance. Okay. It doesn't need to be big. It just has to cover up the hole and be easy to use. Something like this. Looking good. That'll do the trick. Now the entrance will be nice and safe. Plus, it will be extra visible. Done. Sweet. It's official. Our shelter is finished. Mm -hmm. When the black hole forms, we can dive down into the entrance. Yeah. And once we're inside, we just close the door behind us. Perfect. Seems pretty good to me. Yes. But before we can say we're prepared for the black hole... Huh? Well, when it shows up... What? All of our stuff in the village will get sucked in. Oh, yeah! Which means we need to move all our valuables into the shelter. You're right! Let's hurry! We're back at the house. Let's decide what to bring with us. Maybe the enchantment table and the furnace? Definitely! Really, we should take all of the furniture. Sure, why not? That includes the beds, of course. Those are important. And we can't forget the TV. 
obviously. The shelter might get boring. Oh, let's take the armor stands with us too. Sure, just don't forget the armor. I know that. Just making sure. What else? Hmm. Oh, Mikey, we forgot to check the vault. You're right. Let's go. This way. We'll use the secret entrance to get down. Here I go. Right behind you. Whoa. Here we are. Let's open it up. Nice. We've saved up quite a fortune in this chest. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Woo. We're rich. Yeah. Let's grab it. We'd be pretty sad if the black hole sucked up all our savings. So we're bringing it with us. Let's go. Nice and safe in our shelter. Is there anything else here we should bring? Hmm. I don't know why, but I want to bring this torch. Why not? Next up, let's take some food. Oh, oh yeah, I almost forgot food. There. That should be enough. We might be in the shelter for a while, so we'll probably get hungry. Should we bring some water too? Might as well, right, Mikey? I don't see why not. There's still food in the village we could take. All right, let's grab it. Food is really important. If we don't take it, the black hole will. I hate to run out of food in our shelter. Let's take as much as we can. Definitely. We don't know how long the black hole will last. Well, that's everything. Let's get to the shelter. Come on, Mikey. Go! We have to hurry. Uh. Phew, we're safe. Now that we're inside, let's place everything we brought with us. Mm -hmm. Like torches. I'm glad we brought all this stuff with us. Yeah. We're ready. Yep, we're well prepared for the black hole. The double chest will fit there, and this armor stand can go next to it. That's a good spot. Now let's put away all the valuables. I'll start with the armor, and everything else goes in here. That makes sense. Gold, emeralds, and diamonds. Everything we worked so hard to collect. Let's store the furniture too. Nice and safe. Yeah. That includes the TV. I don't think it'll fit anywhere else. It feels good to have all our important things safe in the shelter. Definitely. Ugh. Now our beds are safe too. There. Ta-da! What next? I don't know. What else did you bring? All I have is food. Then let's store the food and water. There. Okay. All the food can go in this chest. I'll throw in everything that I picked up. Great! I'll put all of my food in there too. Awesome! That's a lot of food. Yeah, I think that's everything put away. Are we done? In this chest, we have all of our furniture and valuables. Right? We also have our armor. Uh-huh! Plus, we have all the food and water we could need for a really long time. I think we're ready. We have all the important stuff. Finally, let's get all the villagers into the shelter. Yeah! All right, it's time to get everyone here to safety. How are we going to do that? I'm not sure, but we have to try. Whoa! <gasps> oh, no! No way! It's here! We're too late. The black hole is here. We need to get inside the shelter now. Right behind you! Hurry! <sighs> Now to close the door. We made it! Phew! We're safe! It seems like things worked out. Is that supposed to happen? Our armor! Ah! Fix it! Yeah, I'm on it! Hurry! Come on! There we go. Wow! Phew! <sighs> you did it! We're saved! Sheesh! Good job! We may be safe, but we just lost so many valuable things. Her armor and treasure, even her furniture. Aww! It's all gone. Why me? Oh, no. It all got sucked up by the black hole. It's all gone forever. But things could definitely be worse. Oh? We still have our food and water. As long as we still have that, we'll be OK. Hmm. I guess you're right, Mikey. Maybe things aren't so bad for us. That's the spirit, JJ. Huh? Ah! Whoa. What happened? Was that the black hole? How is that even possible? Uh, it's so dark, I can't see a thing. Yeah. Hang on, I'll give us some light. Thanks. What happens now? We are officially doomed. Uh, it's all gone. Somehow the black hole sucked up all our food. What are we going to do, JJ? This is bad. I don't know. Uh, 
Even if we stay inside the shelter, everything is within the black hole's reach. <gasps> but it actually gets worse than that, Mikey. Black holes keep growing, which means their gravity only gets stronger. So it's only getting bigger? Oh no! Then even if we stay inside the shelter, the black hole will swallow us! What are we gonna do? Ugh, I hate to say it, but we're all out of options. Huh? There's only one thing we can do. What? We have to push the black hole away. What? Push it away? Is that even possible? Maybe. I have an idea. Follow me to the surface. How could we possibly push away a black hole? I'll explain everything once we get to the surface. Let's take it very carefully. Wow. There it is. Sheesh! The village is ruined! Uh, be careful, Mikey. You're standing way too close for comfort. Oh, so how do we push it away? Well, Mikey, here's the plan. I think this spot here is still outside its reach. Okay. So I'm gonna place a bunch of TNT here. Huh? Like this. TNT? Yep. What are you gonna do with that? We're gonna detonate all this TNT all at the same time. Whoa! My plan is for the explosion to hit the black hole. If my calculations are correct, the exploding TNT will get sucked in by the black hole's gravitational pull. I see! With enough TNT, the black hole will be sent flying into the distance. Wow! Is that really possible? To be honest, I'm not sure. But we have to try it. Let's do it! All right then. Here goes nothing. Yeah! Okay, it's lit. Uh, stand back! Oh! Come on! Can this plan really work? Whoa! Oh! Look! No way! It's working! I can't believe it! We pushed it away! We did! It's moving farther away! We're saved! Wow! What a relief! No kidding! Whoa! Oh, it's, it's gone! gone. Yippee! Woohoo! Oh! Huh? They're calling for the most massive eruption in history tonight. And they expect the volcano to be active for a month? What? A gigantic volcanic eruption? Starting tonight? And it'll last a whole month? Let's go check it out for ourselves. Okay. Whoa, they were kidding. It's smoking up here. Oh. This is getting out of hand. We can't stay, Mikey. We have to find cover as quick as possible. But, but there aren't any shelters in our village! Oh. You're right, buddy. So I guess it's up to us. Huh? Since there's no safe place to hide nearby, we'll have to hurry up and build a shelter ourselves. Let's get moving. Yeah, and fast! To the village! Quick! <laughs> Sprint! Come on, we don't have much time. That's right! Ah, uh, we are in for a world of trouble. Okay, now, uh... Let's not dilly-dally! The volcano's gonna explode! Come in here, Mikey. Check it out. Huh? I need you to put on a helmet and take a pickaxe. Uh, done! And done! Good. Now let's get cracking on a shelter under our house. Got it! We'll start here. All right! Get digging. Oh, I'm on it. Step one. Uh-huh. Keep tunneling down. We have to hurry, though. The eruption could go off at any time. Do you think this is deep enough? Mm -hmm. We'll clear some space in that case and begin working on a room. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Whew. This ought to be big enough for now. Mm-hmm. And... Oh. Finished. Is it really? Check it out. Oh, wait. Not quite, actually. We can't forget the ladder. True that! Whoa! There. I added a hatch. And now it's done. Not bad, huh? It's great! Hmm. Ah, that's right. This stuff up here. What? Let's make this part out of stone, because the lava could burn through the wood. How does that look? Really good! Okay, that should do it. Uh-huh! 
So, next up, since this eruption is supposed to last for an entire month, we have to be able to spend all that time down here. That's right. Let's set up the space with everything we need to survive for 30 days. Sounds great. I say we start with the bedroom. Sure. We'll definitely want beds. <laughs> I know I will. The villagers will be staying here too, you know. Right, right, right. Let's set up bunk beds. Mm. This is what you have to do to make them. Take these out. There. Stunning. Adding a ladder in the middle. And of course, the bottom bunks. Very nice. <laughs> that about does it. We're done? Well, let's build another lair. There are going to be a lot of us after all. True. This might not be enough for everyone. Hmm. How's this? Looks good. Triple decker bunk beds coming right up. Awesome. Put this here. Fix this. Yay! Is this better? Yes! It's great. Now we have room for six people to sleep. Amazing! What we need now is a toilet and a shower. For sure. It would be embarrassing to have them out in the open. True that. So, we'll make a dedicated bathroom for them. Great thinking. Something like this. Hmm. Okay, the toilet can go here. Uh-huh. We'll wash our hands in this corner. Oh, yeah, great idea. We'll put the bathtub over on this side. <laughs> and the only thing left is the shower. There. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze, but everything we need fits. So it's finished then. Yay! Fantastic! We'll place a door here, and that's the bathroom. The bedroom's done too. Uh-huh. So the next thing on our list is the living room. Oh, what will we need for that? Well, it's also going to serve as a kitchen. So we're going to want to store a month's worth of food, or else we'll starve. Good point. So let's make a kitchen area. Sure. Here we go. <laughs> so for the kitchen corner, let's make something along these lines. OK. How's this? Very nice. It looks great! Then it's done! Mm. We even have a fridge! So, we're gonna spend a month in here? Yep, but I almost forgot! We're gonna need some food! Right! Let's get some! There should be some in the supply shed. Oh! Let's have a look-see. Wow! There's so much! These are our reserves. Oh. Potatoes, carrots, some of the meat and potatoes are rotten, unfortunately. But whatever, let's grab it all. All right, that's a ton of grub. We also have a large wheat supply. Let's take some with us. It keeps well, and we can use it to make bread. Wow! It's just wheat, buddy, and it's all coming with us. Come here. There. All right. Done. Not quite. There's still some growing over on the farm. Let's harvest it. Okay. Grab everything you can. Sure thing. Woo! Well done. Wowzers! We gathered up so much food. Now, huh? let's put it all away before the volcano erupts. Good idea. Huh. Let's put the carrots and the fresh meat in the fridge. Go for it. Pack them in there. The potatoes, too. Why not? There. Now, hmm. Yes? We'll store the rest of the food as well as the wheat in this chest. Excellent idea! That should be enough to get us through the month. <gasps> we forgot something super important! What is it? Hang on a second. What else do we need? Hang on, I'll show you. Plop, plop, plop. Huh? Okay, one of these. Oh, a TV! And of course, we gotta have a couple of these. Mount this here, and then... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, what are those? They're computers! For gaming! Oh! Now we can take it easy! I see! If we didn't have our gadgets, 
We couldn't spend a month down here in this shelter. It would be way too boring. This stuff will definitely help us pass the time. Uh -huh. We're ready! Now we have everything we need! Is the volcano really gonna blow tonight? Uh... Do you want to go above ground and take a peek? Okay! Even if it does, how big of an eruption could it be anyway? Okay... sleep. Oh. Hmm. I guess you're right. I can pick up where I left off tomorrow. Let's call it a night. Sure. Ah, it's nice and cool. And the villagers are already asleep. Let's join them. <sighs> sleep, eat, game, repeat. Thanks to our computers, spending a month down here is easy. <laughs> Hmm. Huh? Huh? Uh... What was that sound? I think I heard an explosion in the living room. Seriously? Mm. Yikes! No! Oh. It's... it's lava! And it's flooding in! How'd that happen? Seriously? Oh, it burnt a hole in the ceiling, and now it's seeping through. We have to plug it before it gets any worse. I have some dirt blocks, but will they do the trick? Will they stop the lava flow? Hmm? Oh, Mikey, I think it's working. Uh, Let's see. Will we be okay? We might be able to use dirt to seal the hole. Well... It worked! The leak, it's stopping! Oh. Look, look, look! Wow! Phew! I thought we were done for! Is the lava level still coming down? Yes, I think we're safe. Wonderful! We managed to survive! Yippee! Now everything in the shelter is back to normal. I'm just glad we were able to protect the food. Yeah. Fortunately, it's A-OK. -okay. Hmm? Uh, Mikey? Yeah? What's the matter, JJ? Everything's all right, isn't it? No, look. The shelter is back to normal. It isn't. The computers and TV, they melted. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> They're gone! Take a look at that city, Mikey. It's lovely. Is this where we're spending the day? Yep, I can't wait. Except there's something off about it. Can you tell? I should take a closer look. Go for it. All I see are these massive, beautiful skyscrapers. Look at this one. Usually I'm the best when it comes to figuring out what's wrong. Any guesses? Hmm. You know how I said I'm the best? I take it back. <laughs> this one's tough. There are no people here. Oh, now that you mention it, I never noticed the city was empty. Why isn't anyone here? They're missing out on all these 
fancy skyscrapers. Here's the thing. In a couple of hours, a massive tornado is headed to the city. Everyone's either taken shelter underground somewhere or fled town. It smells like rain! Should we run away too? I'm afraid it's too late for that, Mikey. The only way to survive is to build our own shelters and wait out the storm. Are you serious? A shelter building competition? Yep. This may be a Minecraft world, but we still have to prepare as if it were real. In a real situation, we'd probably evacuate. But in Minecraft, we can make the ultimate shelters to protect ourselves! How dangerous are these tornadoes anyway? They're just wind, right? Don't underestimate tornadoes, Mikey. They can lift cars and buildings like they're nothing. It doesn't even matter how heavy they are. <gasps> if you ever encounter a real tornado, you need to get everyone in the house to hide in the basement. Really? Yeah. Then I guess I should make my shelter a bit stronger than this. I have to build it the right way. That means no dirt walls. You seem super motivated today. Let's get to work. I'm finished. How about you, Mikey? Huh? Maybe he's inside. Let's go see. I guess Mikey's done building his shelter already. That was fast. Where could he be? I wonder if he finished early then went to hang out in the city. In that case, I better go find him before the tornado does. Mikey! Oh! Oh, what are you doing out here, Mikey? Are you done with your shelter? Yep, it's all finished. It's been done for a while. Since there's no one around, I figured we can get into this amusement park for free. We don't have to wait in any lines. Plus, they have all kinds of rides and yummy snacks. See? You can't just eat everything because no one's around. It still belongs to someone. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's head back. Okay. Okay, we made it back. Welcome home. Did you see how strong I made my shelter? Guess how long it took me to build. Believe it or not, it was 10 whole minutes! I think that might be a new record for me. Usually it's only 3 minutes, 5 minutes tops. That's like twice as long as usual! I put a lot of effort into it. You probably took 10 times as long as I did to build yours. Your house isn't made of dirt anymore. I'm glad you noticed. Since I'm a turtle, I try to be eco-friendly and build with dirt. But this time, I decided to use wood! How come, Mikey? I didn't think dirt would hold up against a tornado. You said they were super dangerous. That's right. Well, come on, Mikey. Hurry up and show me the inside. Look at this! What? Do you see the window? It's two layers thick! Oh wow, that's thick! This one's thick too! Whoa! I'm showing you why it's the perfect defense! The only downside is how small it is on the inside. Oh, you're right. But I've got a farm and a bed. This place is so self-sufficient, I could live in here forever. Or at least a super long time. I bet this is the strongest shelter you've ever seen, huh? It's a nice little house, Mikey. But you're missing something. You need three wheat to make bread. It looks like you only have two. Huh? You need three? Yep, three wheat. Well, this is awkward. Ignore that. This is still one of the best emergency shelters ever made! And there's no way you can change my mind! The only thing I would do differently is make it a little more comfortable. But that's just a dream of mine. And at some point, you have to stop dreaming and face reality. Oh well. All right, my turn. This is it! These iron blocks are really something! Don't you think it's a bit much? Why put in effort when you can do things super speedy like me? When it comes to safety, it's always necessary to put the effort in. It took me a while to finish. Sorry to keep you waiting for so long. No need to apologize. Even your door looks sturdy. How'd you do that? You really pulled out all the stops, JJ. Thanks. Why don't you come in? Don't mind if I do. Wow, even the lighting is nice. <gasps> you have a computer? That's my PC. Huh? What's this? A weather van? Awesome! It'll tell me which direction the wind is blowing, which might come in handy for the tornado. Some people use them as good luck charms, too. Wow, it's fancy. Thanks. I want one. Let's set it up. Seriously? Okay. Let's go! Whoa, it's so cool! Thanks a bunch, JJ. I can't believe my shelter got even stronger than it was before! Let's put one on top, too. Awesome! 
Thank you! So far, so good! JJ, wait! What? I don't want to sound rude, especially after you hooked me up with those weather vanes. Mm-hmm. But your house needs a farm! Seriously! You can't be self-sufficient without one. What if you're stuck in there? Then what, JJ? You gotta think about these things, JJ. I do have a farm, Mikey. Where? I don't see one. <laughs> There's no need to lie. I get it. You're mad that my shelter is better. I'm not lying. Follow me. Come on. Huh? Here. Hurry! Huh? Look! Wow! Mm-hmm! Amazing! A farm! You weren't lying! That's right! It's a potato farm! Potatoes are one of the best foods in case of an emergency. That's why I grew them! Not only that, but you have great air circulation down here! Check out the ceiling fan! That's incredible! It's important to have good air circulation underground! Is this your living room? Wow! I understand why it took you so long to finish! I'm glad you like it. I gave special attention to the kitchen, though. Is this it? Yep. Oh! A microwave! An oven? A blender? You even have a toaster?! That's unbelievable! The only thing you're missing is a proper bathroom. You probably didn't have enough time to build one. As a turtle, I need to have a bathtub. But as a human, you don't need one. Your house is great and all, JJ. You just forgot one thing. I had a feeling you'd say something. So I prepared this. What? Take a look. No way! I didn't think you'd have one. Pretty cool, huh? A toilet? A sink? Yep. <laughs> I can't compete with this. My house doesn't have a bathroom, a kitchen, or even a living room. All it has is one tiny bedroom. The bedroom's the whole thing. Wait, we haven't tested it yet. My house didn't take long to make, so the cost-performance ratio is more balanced. Yeah, I guess you're right. You can have that one. It's up to the tornado to decide which of our shelters is better. That's right. Let's get into position. Come on! I can see Mikey through the window. Is it here yet? I feel safe and sound inside my shelter. I used wood instead of regular old dirt. It took me ten whole minutes! Bring it on, tornado! I'm ready! Woohoo! You sound super confident today, Mikey. I know you've got a lot of faith in your shelter, but don't underestimate the power of the tornado. Looks like it's starting to rain. I wonder if the weather reports were accurate. I can't wait to test out my shelter! Seriously! Okay, Mikey. I'm so excited, JJ! Whoa! Wow, lightning! The rain's picking up! It's getting super windy. Wait a second, it's starting to hail! I can't believe it. It's way too dangerous to leave home now. My house is insanely tough. I'll be okay. Do you see my roof? Yeah, what about it? The entire roof is two layers thick! Oh yeah, I guess you're right. There are two layers of wooden blocks. Good thinking, Mikey. Even though it's hailing, I'm 100% safe. Nothing will hurt me in here. Mm-hmm. Not even the tornado will be able to hurt me. I'm so calm, my body's dancing all on its own. Nice moves. Thanks, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm still scared about the tornado, Mikey. I was extra careful and built my shelter out of iron blocks. Plus, I added an underground bunker. Even still, who knows what this tornado is capable of? You're always worrying, JJ. If you're so scared, why don't you come over to my place? We can wait out the storm together. Just you and me. What do you say? Thanks for the offer, but I want to stick around and see if my shelter has what it takes to survive. Well, you're always welcome here whenever you want. My door is always open, JJ. <laughs> The tornado's almost here, Mikey. Brace yourself. Hmm? What's taking the tornado so long? I can't wait any longer! Whoa, the wind's getting stronger. Mikey, look out, it's here! Huh? For real? Huh? Oh no, Mikey! How is this possible? It took me ten whole minutes to build my shelter! What's going on? Where am it's I? It's pulled you into the sky! Hey! <laughs> oh no! This is bad! Whoa! Mikey's flying around! Mikey! Thanks!
Thanks for letting me in! There's not even a trace of your house left. I don't get it! I spent so much time on it, JJ! This isn't fair! <laughs> Seriously, ten minutes isn't that much time, dude. We better stick around here till the tornado passes, although it's probably safer in the basement. I'm coming! Safe and sound. Can I take a bath? <laughs> I'm so exhausted after being sucked up by the tornado. All I want to do is lie down, eat a potato, and watch TV. Good idea. But remember, tornadoes are no joke. Bye-bye. This shelter rules. <laughs>